Now one day it might happen that you go to start your Fiat Ducato, turn the ignition on, crank the engine over and you'll get a beep and the dreaded check engine light will illuminate. Today we're going to have a look at how to reset that check engine light using an inexpensive OBD2 code reader. The reader I'm using is a model U480 which is available from eBay sellers for around $25. To use it we plug it into the OBD2 socket which is located behind a panel on the driver's side of the dashboard adjacent to the steering wheel. This is where the fuses are also located. With the ignition turned off we plug the reader into the socket and then turn the ignition on and press enter on the reader to start it scanning the engine management computer. The reader will scan various protocols and once it finds a working protocol will scan the engine management computer to see if there are any fault codes existing. This is indicated by DTC which stands for Diagnostic Trouble Code. In this case we do have a fault code indicated by the code P0638. To find out what P0638 means, we can refer to the booklet that came with the code reader. You can also use the internet to find out what various code numbers mean. P0638 is actually a fairly common error code associated with the throttle body and there's no real risk involved in resetting it. To reset it we scroll down on the scanner till we get to the erase option and then press enter to go ahead with the erase. The panel on the code reader will indicate that the erase has been successful. We can now check that there are no further diagnostic trouble codes by rescanning. Simply scroll down on the scanner to the rescan option and go ahead to rescan. The display should show DTC00, meaning there are no further diagnostic trouble codes. So we can go ahead and unplug the scanner and put our panel back. Now, when we turn the ignition on and crank over the engine, we should see no engine light. And that's all there is to resetting the check engine light in your Fiat Ducato. You should always make a note of any fault codes and you should refer those fault codes to a mechanic if you're in any doubt as to what the cause is or whether it's safe to reset them. Thank you.